This is Papa Brad coming at you to talk about the new game, Pop Flamer, available now on the iArcade. Pop Flamer is an arcade game developed by Jaleco in 1982. In the game, the player controls a mouse armed with a flamethrower who must pop balloons while avoiding enemies. In my research, I came to the realization that this game was one of the games that was featured on the awesome show Starcade. So let's take a quick little look at that. Here's an interesting clip I found on the game Pop Flamer. Let's check it out. Let's see if you can pick a game that, uh, that you're good at. Well, let's try Pop Flamer. Pop Flamer it is. And we will ask uh, Kevin to tell us about that. This is awesome. one hot mouse. He's Pop Flamer, spewing flames on the pursuing monsters, popping balloons to replenish the fuel, especially the laughing balloons, since they give him the power to shoot further. Drinking the power drink, he changes to Super Mouse, swallowing all monsters in pursuit. Little frogs don't hurt, but they are a nuisance to be dealt with, and the electroshock thrown out by the dragon is definitely to be avoided. Pop Flamer is one hot game. Okay, Kevin, thanks. Roger, I don't know about you. I'm afraid to go in there. Yep. I think it can wipe us out. All right, now, just just remember, you can change into Super Mouse if you get down and drink the drink. You'll see at the bottom of the screen, and then you can destroy everything and get extra points, okay? Okay, let's get ready. Okay, so you're hearing the strategy. Go down, go and drink all the drink, and you can change into a Super Mouse where you can get all the enemies. Let's see how he does. Okay, let's get ready. You have 50 seconds. You ready? It's set. Play. There you go. You have the plank, so let's use it. I think I'm going to do a lot better on this guy. There's the drink. Don't forget to use your plank, sir. 39 seconds. Here we go. There it is. You're going to need to replenish it. Oh, you're going to need more plank. Was up, yeah. 600 points, though, and uh, well, we'll see how Gary does, okay? Good. You head on back. Come on, Gary. Now, turn around there, Gary, please. On Pop Flamer, he got 600 points, so uh, I don't know. He may be able to do better than that. Did you hear the advice I gave? Yeah. All right, down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a drink. If you can pop the balloons, get down there and drink that drink, you turn into Super Mouse, and you can destroy all those monsters. How are you? Okay, good luck to you. Have 50 seconds, Gary. Get ready. Get set. Play. Congratulations, Clint Gary. So there was a quick little clip of uh, Pop Flamer. Nice little retro clip. Um, we're going to take a look at the game now on the iArcade. It's time for Pop Oak Brad to show you the game, explain how it works, and give you a quick review of it. Let's go over the rules of Pop Flamer. Operate the Pop Flamer with the joystick to crush balloons, avoiding or burning up monsters. Be careful, if hit by the electroshock wave emitted by Haradon, 
Pop Flamer will be paralyzed for a while. Flaming distance comes to be shorter gradually. You can replenish your fuel supply by crushing balloons. That's important. So to replenish fuel, you crush balloons. Throw a flame to exterminate frogs if blocked by them. Get, get to the power drink to charge up to Super Mouse and swallow monsters nearby. Super Mouse is never beaten by monsters. Pop Flamer disappears if touched by the monsters. Points. After a clearance of two patterns, higher points are awarded. So you got different points. Um, the different monsters are 200, um, 500 points for drinking the whole drink, 300 points for a standard balloon, and a balloon with a happy face on it is 1,000 points. Okay, and those are the basic rules of Pop Flamer. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going for a high score run. Playing this game, Pop Flamer on the I Arcade. Uh, first thing I always like to do, drink all the drink and turn into the Super Mouse. That'll clear a bunch of the enemies, get you down at the bottom. Uh, you get a few seconds where you can run fast after you've drank the Super Drink. Notice the pattern I use. I go back and forth. Avoid Barney. Barney the purple dinosaur, he does have a ray he shoots out. The ray doesn't kill you, but it does freeze you. And getting frozen can be the kiss of death in this game. You'll notice I'm working the pattern. I'm going to go for the second super drink. Drinking up. I'm going to turn into Super Mouse again, hopefully. Nope, I got greedy. And that's one of the cool things about the super drink. It's slow. You can hold the button down and it will continue drinking. Um, let's see if I can still make an attempt at the highest score. I, le I lost a man early, which is a bit disappointing. Using my flamethrower just to be safe. This is a game that lends itself to using the Uplay 4-way adapter, which allows the joystick to only move in 4 ways. This is a 4-directional game. You'll notice I'm using the pattern. I'm using the warps to go back and forth. There's Barney, he's shooting out his uh, freeze ray. They get nice use of the flamethrower. Nice use of the flamethrower to clear the enemies. One life left, and I got a long way to go to get on the high scoreboard. I'm gonna have to do great on the second screen. We'll see how I do. Start off, I'm clearing away some of the balloons in the middle. Using my flamethrower. Hardest part to clear in this is the middle section where the enemies come out of that little gazebo. Heading up. Gonna go for drinking the super drink. Kill off that enemy. Hold on the button. Gulp, gulp, gulp. I think it takes five gulps. Frog would have killed me if I wouldn't have moved. There we go. Look at that. That puts me at 15,000. I am now on high score. I am in high score level. And this game is brutal. 17,500. This is a challenge. See if you can beat the score. Let's check out how I did on the leaderboards. Pop Flamer. Hit Z to see the leaderboards. And look, I'm in number one. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button and this is Papa Brad reminding you to stay legit.